guys i'm gonna show you how to root c9 pro samsung c9 pro so first of all you need to open uh, galaxy app store and download crom uh, services uh, when you will uh, download after that uh, uh, you need to open this app and it will ask you if you really want to unlock your bootloader and uh, you have to press yes it will show you you will lose your warranty you have to lose okay my device bootloader is already unlocked so i will just press ok and i will continue to next step i will uh, go in uh, about phone and uh, i will tap uh, build number seven times to get the developer uh, options activated As you can see developer options uh, has been enabled so now I will uh, enable OEM unlock and also enable USB debugging uh, we need both these things unlocked and make sure uh, you disable the uh, reactivation Samsung uh, reactivation lock uh, you need you also need to disable it otherwise uh, you will not be able to root your phone now uh, next step is uh, you need to copy the super SU file on your uh, SD card please don't use internal memory okay so you can uh, copy your uh, super SU app uh, and uh, the open uh, G apps Google apps uh, in your SD card uh, the link has been uh, given in the description you can download it f uh, for free from the link once uh, files has been copied uh, to your card you can uh, unplug uh, actually you don't need to unplug your phone you need to open the Odin uh, that you can also find uh, in the description the, the I suggest you to watch uh, this video till till end because uh, there are uh, some steps that you need to follow uh, after routing and flashing your uh, Google Apps otherwise uh, your uh, Google Play services will keep crashing so you have to f watch full video till end once you have copied all the required files uh, now you need to uh, switch off your phone and uh, enter in download mode uh, I hope uh, you know how to do it volume down home button and uh, power button press them simultaneously and uh, a blue screen will pop up press the volume up and you will enter the download mode as you can see the download logo on uh, this screen so now uh, connect your uh, phone with your uh, PC and uh, start the Odin uh, on your PC Words, uh, I am using the Chinese version of uh, Odin I don't know if the English version will work or not but uh, now you need to select the PDA uh, option uh, the PDA button in Odin and select the TWRP for your phone and then tick out the first option as you can see in this video it, it is the auto reboot option and uh, then press the start button and flashing should start now uh, your phone uh, will be installing the TWRP recovery once uh, shows the green color pass button sorry pass uh, um, logo now you can uh, switch off your phone just disconnect from PC and hold all buttons power home volume up volume down keep them holding until your phone restarts and then uh, release uh, the volume down button you have to do it uh, very carefully because if your phone starts normally your TWRP will be removed so this is how you need to enter the uh, recovery mode as you can see some codes are showing and uh, here you can see the TWRP recovery has been started and it will be in Chinese you don't you don't need to do anything just uh, swipe it is actually asking if you want to keep it as uh, read only or you want to allow modifications so we need to allow modifications just swipe uh, the slide 
okay now uh, you need to uh, tap on the third button in second column to change the language of uh, TWRP second button and then press on the globe uh, tab and uh, select English <laughs> and you are done next step will be uh, you need to wipe the data partition of your phone uh, tap on wipe advanced and select the data partition viewers you need to wipe twice uh, I repeat if you don't uh, do this step you will not be able to see your internal memory so you need to uh, wipe the data partition again it's simple process once you are done now you need to uh, flash uh, your super su which you have already copied on your sd card so just uh, go back to main menu and uh, tap on install and select the super su file and uh, just swipe to flash it after successful flash uh, your uh, phone will reboot and it will also reset to factory settings so we will see if it flashes successfully almost completed so yes now I will reboot my phone so uh, we was uh, first boot uh, may take some time or uh, maybe it will uh, restart uh, two or three times so you don't need to worry just uh, have patience and uh, your phone should boot up normally so I will uh, speed up uh, this video because uh, the application uh, optimization will take a little time so I will uh, speed up my video now Okay, phone just uh, started and uh, I need to make uh, initial settings. I will just skip everything. I don't need to enter any account right now because I just want to show you how it uh, start. Okay, uh, okay, here it is starting. Okay, now I will uh, show you. You can see the Super SU app is there. That means uh, root has been successful and uh, everything is uh, working perfect so next step is to flash uh, google apps now i will again uh, switch off uh, this phone and uh, enter uh, the download mode uh, to flash g apps that we have already copied on uh, sd card so we will enter uh, sorry we need to enter in recovery mode not in download mode so once we are in uh, recovery mode twrp recovery again tap on install if you cannot see files in your sd card just go back press on a uh, level up and select uh, sd card external memory and select g apps and swipe to flash uh, flashing process should start uh, viewers you can ignore those red errors so you just need to do what you have to do so the flashing will take uh, because i have a complete package of uh, google apps so it is going to take a uh, little long so i will speed up my video now As you can see it ended up with the error but uh, you don't need to worry just uh, f restart your phone and uh, it should boot and now it is optimizing uh, the Google Apps it is going to take uh, almost five minutes so I will speed up my video again it won't take too long so I think it is almost done on your first boot you might uh, see some pop-ups that uh, 
your um, Google uh, services uh, has been um, uh, stopped but uh, I will show you how to fix as you can see all uh, Google apps are uh, working I will configure them later but they are opening so I will set up these uh, applications later I will show you you need to uh, go in um, applications and uh, there you need to select uh, Google services google play services and in permissions you need to allow all permissions as shown here you can see i set all permissions to active and uh, then you will be able to use all applications uh, without any problem thank you viewers uh, for uh, watching this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and uh, spread this video with other uh, users uh, those who need to root their uh, c9 pro samsung c9 pro and uh, need to install uh, google apps if you are wondering how these uh, icons uh, are changed uh, so i'm using the launcher different la launcher it is uh, i think galaxy s7 uh, launcher so you can download it from uh, play store you can see all applications are working so i have configured uh, my account thank you so much please subscribe